So in honor of my longtime sponsor, Monster Energy, releasing the inspired Scotty Kramer story, I decided to do an injury update for all of you that watch my channel, but also people that are just finding me for the first time and trying to explain exactly what my situation is. I mean, a lot of you have heard my story before. Like, I was a professional bike rider. I ended up having a serious, serious accident. Riding my BMX bike, I ended up breaking my neck. I have a spinal cord injury. I had to get surgery in two places on my spine, where my C2 and my C3 and also my 6 and 7 were fused. The C2 and C3 is where my spinal cord injury actually happened, but I also ended up getting a traumatic brain injury. I ended up falling on my head. I actually had a helmet on at the time and now I have a fake forehead, meaning that my forehead is now made out of plastic. They actually removed the old one and they put a fake one in there, which is crazy to say. And here I am seven and a half years later and I am standing upright at a skate park, you know, a place where I belong. BMX has been my life for such a long time so the fact that it still is my life I'm still out here filming YouTube videos pretty much every single day and I am riding my bike from time to time it's really difficult for me it's not easy and it's not safe feeling but it still is enjoyable so I got to make sure that I just don't do it too much I got to make sure I regulate myself and I don't get too ahead of myself because I have no reaction time like yes I'm able to move everything like I can move my hands all right my right hand not as much uh, my left arm works pretty good my right arm doesn't and if you look at my feet like I can pick up my legs I can move them but it's not the same on both sides my right ankle it, I just don't have as much control. You can see like my balance. I, I'm trying to pick up my right leg, but I just can't do it without losing my balance. So you could see that like, I'm not perfect, but I am able to move around. I'm able to do so many things in life still, which is great. And I am still able to ride my bike, which I enjoy so much. This is where I actually feel free. <laughs> Riding my bike is the most free that I do feel right now in my life. Like, I'm not able to do anything fast at all. Like, one thing I never really talk about in this injury is, like, my ability to move around. The fact that, like, if, if something was chasing me, if someone, some animal, anything, like, I am screwed. Like, I, I have no ability to get away from this animal at all. Like, right now, I'm going to show you my fastest run. I know I don't even like saying the word run because it's not going to look anything like a run, but like, I want to show you what I'm going through and how my body reacts, just so you guys can understand kind of what my life is like. So we're going to go on this long straightaway here to skate park, and I'm going to set my fastest run I possibly can right now, safely, of course, but let's do this. Matt, tell me there's something crazy behind you. Like Oh my God, Scott, Scott, watch, watch out. This, this is what What do you think? Harry, it's fine, it's fine. That was full speed. That's all I got. I have zero chance. It's scary stuff, it really is. Like, I gotta be mindful whenever I'm doing anything. Like, these guys are like, yo, let's go ride street over in this area. I'm like, no, I'm not too, I can't do that. Pretty good, I felt pretty, I had a good little flow. I know, I felt like my arm like locking up all weird and stuff and <laughs> had like a little bit of a like a dum 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 dum. dum. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> One thing that like, I know that I couldn't do over the past seven years, but I want to try it today for you. And there's a chance I can't do this. There's a chance I might be able to do it. Like I've been trying to work out consistently still. Like I'm, I'm doing the best that I can, but I can only do so much for my body because like it's not just getting muscles stronger. It's the connections that are being able to move my body. That's the issue. But today I'm going to try to slide into this bowl and I'm going to try to get out. And like, I've been convinced over the years that if I was in a bowl by myself and nobody's around, like I, I'm going to die in that bowl. There's no way I'm getting out, I'm gonna starve to death. That's the truth, like I wouldn't be able to pull it off. But since I've been working out, since it's been seven and a half years, I'm going to attempt that right now. This could be really sad to watch. This could be really funny to watch. I do not know, but we're going to make the best of it because that's what I've been doing for the last seven and a half years. Let's get in this bowl and let's try to get out of it. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. It's a good start, right? <laughs> nice smooth <laughs> transfer. It feels a lot deeper when you slide into it. So this is a, a five foot bowl. About five feet, right? I'd say about there. Yeah, because I'm 6'4", so you do the math. You guys ready? 
Here we go. All right, it's grippier than I expected, which is good. That's, that's only helping my cause. Like I didn't expect to get this much traction. Shout out to Vance and the Ultra Range, because this is gonna make my life a lot easier. I can do this. It's done. <laughs> this got a trench for my leg. Oh, God. Come on. One good kick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've already done it. Like, I'm already proud. Like, I know I can get up from here, but like. I am super proud of myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna starve to death in a bowl ever in my life. <laughs> no shot. Come on. And the reason why I wanted to do it today, like I wanted to do a video where I could challenge myself, but also talk about my injury still, because the whole premise of the monster video was talking about me being an inspiration to people. When I realized that if I don't point this camera at myself and I don't share my story with the world, then I'm not gonna be able to inspire people. So I need to be able to remind myself sometimes that me <laughs> filming myself right here doing stuff like that like getting out of yeah. bowl. everybody can do that but me being a person that could do any trick that he wanted to in and out of that bowl and now just getting out of that bowl on my feet is like <laughs> something that i'm proud of like that's something that i need to share with the world because that can inspire people to better themselves or to just be grateful for what they have and i'm going to try to keep this mindset i'm going to try to share my story with you and i'm going to try to share the ups and the downs of my injury of my life and uh and all of you that have been supporting me since the beginning, I truly appreciate it. And also, Monster Energy and Vans, they've been with me since before my accident, and they've been with me after my accident. And they keep on giving me an opportunity to share my story and to be able to inspire people around the world. And you don't understand how much it truly means to me that you are giving a handicapped athlete a chance to be himself. And I, I'm really grateful for it. So if any of you haven't seen the new video that Monster did for me, I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'm also gonna put it at the end of this video video please go watch it if you guys can like if you guys can comment if you guys can also share it i would truly appreciate it because i'm just grateful to have this opportunity and it's pretty few and far between that i get a chance to be able to make these kind of videos so i would truly appreciate it if you guys would help and share that one so guys that's it for this one i hope you all enjoyed this video i just wanted to say one last thing to all the fans of this youtube channel that have been watching over the years because of all of you my life still revolves around bmx and i am so grateful for that it really means the world to me so thank you so much for all the continued support and i'll see you guys in the next video peace now to a low point and climb all the way back up and still just inspiring everybody for me bmx started all the way back in uh, well, it's pretty much christmas of 1994 when i got my first bmx bike 